In 1866, shortly after the end of the Civil War, the United States Congress approved the creation of two African-American cavalry and two infantry regiments. These soldiers later became known as the Buffalo Soldiers. The name is thought to have originated with the Cheyenne, who likened their hair to that of the buffalo. The native tribes revered the noble buffalo, and the fighting proudness of the black troops soon earned their respect. African Americans who had served in the American Civil War were now given their first opportunity to enlist in the Army while the nation was at peace. For a five-year enlistment, these black troops were offered food, clothing, shelter, and a monthly stipend of $13. This would be roughly $200 a month by today's standards. To command the cavalry regiments, General Grant recommended two U.S. Army colonels with illustrious Civil War records. A number of other high-ranking white officers had turned down the command of the black regiments. Colonel Edward Hatch of Iowa was chosen to command the 9th, and Colonel Benjamin Grierson was given command of the 10th Regiment. Both men took great pride in their new assignments. Both were strong in their defense of the troops who served under them, and in later years, both were quick to praise the courage and commitment of the men of the 9th and 10th. Even while facing strong racism and receiving the Army's worst resources, the men of the 9th and 10th were awarded an unprecedented 23 Medals of Honor, a record for the armed forces. The first assignment for these regiments involved the uncharted and wild west. They spent much of their time protecting white settlers from Native Americans. It is hard to ignore the irony of a situation in which the black soldiers were placed. After centuries of suffering the indignity of slavery, their new government now ordered them to virtually enslave America's Native people. The Buffalo Soldiers faced the fury of the Cheyenne, Apache, Sioux, and Utes, and wrote illustrious chapters in American military history. 300,000 Native American occupied the land from the Mississippi River to the Pacific Ocean in 1840. By 1900, the U.S. Army had control of the West, and the Native American tribes were now confined to reservations. Between battles, the troops patrolled the southwest and maintained peace on the frontiers. Crews building railroads were dependent on their protection, and thousands of miles of telegraph wires were strung by the soldiers of the 9th and 10th. The Buffalo soldiers also went into action against rustlers, outlaws, and Mexican revolutionaries. Legends such as Geronimo, Sitting Bull, Vittorio, Billy the Kid, and Pancho Villa found themselves pitted against the Buffalo soldiers. While the conduct and contributions of the black soldiers in the American West remained largely unrecognized by the public, they were recognized for their bravery during the Spanish-American War. Future President Theodore Roosevelt and his Rough Riders became famous for their charge up Cuba's San Juan Hill. Charging alongside him were hundreds of Buffalo soldiers from three of the four black regiments, the 9th and 10th Cavalries and the 24th Infantry. During World War I, none of the four black regiments were sent to Europe. The 10th Cavalry split its time restoring peace in the Philippines and then joined the 9th in the American Southwest. When the U.S. joined the Second World War, the 9th and 10th were deployed to North Africa. Just one month later, both regiments were disbanded and relocated to assist in shipping supplies. On July 26, 1948, President Harry S. Truman signed Executive Order 9981 to integrate the armed forces. The story of the Buffalo Soldiers and their contributions to the development of the U.S. went largely unnoticed until the Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s. Since then, books, movies, and even a popular song have recalled the heroic tales of these brave men. <laughs> 